Hi everybody, this is Justina with Justina Tea Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you came across my channel, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and that you're gonna consider subscribing. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for taking the time to watch another of my videos. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, how to put together this cute two panel pencil case. As you can see, it fits uh, school supplies, pens and pencils perfectly. And it's really quick to put together. It only has two panels, so you don't have to worry about matching up the panels on the bottom of your pouch. Uh, that's what I don't like the most. So I always uh, find ways to make sure uh, everybody can be successful with your sews with uh, the least stress possible to complete your project. Some of you may recognize that this is not a new pattern. This is the pattern for the uh, JT glasses slash pencil case pattern. Uh, this pattern is accessible for free for my Facebook members. Uh, is uploaded in the group file folder. But if you are not a fan of Facebook and you prefer not to join my Facebook group, you can purchase the pattern from Etsy uh, and the link is in the description box below. Like I said, this pouch is quick and easy. We just have two panel to cut, two pattern pieces. In the next clip, I'm gonna explain to you how I use the pattern templates to switch the orientation of the panels. Uh, this project uh, is sewn from clear vinyl and jelly vinyl. This is PTU vinyl, but PVC vinyl will be equally good. And you can, for the uh, solid panel, you can use jelly vinyl or you can use just a regular vinyl or cork, any fabric that uh, you can have exposed edges and it's not gonna fray. Uh, I don't think this project needs any additional explanation. So without further ado, if you want to see how this project is put together, please keep watching. To get us started, we're going to prep our pattern pieces and our supplies. I cut my pattern pieces out of the clear vinyl and my jelly vinyl. The original pattern is made out. The bigger panel is on the left and the smaller is on the right, but I wanted to for my see-through panel to be on the right but to be bigger so what i did because the printed vinyl has a wrong and a right side i cut my pattern piece upside down so i put my pattern piece the right side down and then i cut my right panel making sure that it's cut out out of the see-through vinyl and then i did the same with my left panel so i cut it out again having my uh, pattern template uh, upside down and this way i have my panels cut so i have the big panel as the see-through vinyl on the right side and the smaller uh, plain color panel on the left side so you can do that you can just play with the way you want your pouch to be laid out also, I have my zipper tape cut to size. Uh, I have my zipper pull ready. I have some scrap of vinyls for my zipper tabs and some rivets uh, to attach my zipper tabs to my uh, zipper tape. And I'm gonna be using the Gutenman Mera 70 thread. And um, while I'm sewing the PCU see-through vinyl, I'm going to make sure that my tension is increased on my upper thread and that I'm using something to make sure that uh, the fabric slides on the bed of my machine. So I'm going to be using some parchment paper and also I want to make sure that the foot is uh, it's sliding on top of my fabric and for that I'm just going to place a little uh, bit of machine lubricant to help with that. Um, please make sure that you are using a lubricant or machine oil that is specific for your machine and that your machine is not going to get damaged. All right, so now that we have everything gathered and cut, we're going to first connect our panels. So you're going to have your see-through vinyl panel right side up 
and you're gonna place the left panel along the middle edge and clip. When you have your panels clipped, you're gonna take your project to the machine and you're gonna sew along this edge with the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Through this project, I'm gonna be using 3.5 stitch length uh, just to make sure I do not perforate the vinyls too much uh, so I'm not gonna weaken the fabric. So take it to the machine and sew along the clipped edge. Now that I have the panels connected, I'm just gonna flip the solid panel over, finger press it, and I'm gonna take it back to the machine. And now I'm gonna top stitch along the seam with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. I want the seam allowance to be hidden behind the solid color of the jelly vinyl. Now our panel is top stitch, so the seam lies nice and flat. Uh, at this point, you can also add your back tack if that's something you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna add mine. This is obviously optional. Uh, keep in mind that this part is the bottom of our pouch. So you wanna keep in mind that, that this those spaces will have seam allowance basically you want to look at it this way and now choose a placement of your uh, tack so I'm gonna use some double-sided tape And now install it using rivets. I think I'm gonna use a trick that Joe from uh, Country Cow Design showed that if you wanna save your rainbow rivets, you can actually use a set of rainbow rivets with the silver rivets, and that's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm for this rivet, I'm going to use a cup that is silver. And here I'm going to put the silver rivet through the side. So I have both silver on the inside, but I have two rainbow on the outside. And it seemed to work well. And now I have an extra pair of rainbow rivets saved. Now that we have the butt tack attached, we're gonna now sew on our zipper. So you're gonna take your zipper tape and now we're gonna center the zipper tape, coil side down along the top edge and clip. And now you're also gonna mark about an inch from the edge of your panel. You're gonna mark it on your zipper. When you have that prepped, uh, you're gonna take your project to the machine and you're gonna sew your zipper on with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance making sure that you are slipping the ends of the zipper at your one inch mark. So you don't want the zipper tape to be sewn in to the end. You want it to, for the ends to be slipped. So take it to the machine and sew the zipper tape on. Now that we have the zipper tape sewn in, we're gonna transfer our marks on the other side of the tape. We're gonna split the tape and attach it to, uh, to the other top edge of our pouch. And 
And now that we have that clip together, we're gonna take our project back to the machine and we're gonna repeat what we did on this side. So we're gonna sew our zipper tape on, slipping those two ends. So take it to the machine and sew your zipper on. Now that our zipper tape is attached to both sides, we're gonna flip it over on both sides and we're gonna top stitch the tape around the initial seam to make sure it lies nice and flat in the upper position. So we, we're gonna take the project to the machine. We're gonna make sure that our zipper tape is fold over so it's in the final position with the coils up and we're gonna top stitch along our seam with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length back stitch on the beginning and on the end of your seam. Now that you have your zipper top stitch on both sides, now we're gonna fold our project right sides together and we're gonna align our sides. You wanna make sure that your tops are aligning nicely. And when you have your sides clipped like this, you're gonna take your project to the machine and you're gonna sew each side with the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Make sure to back stitch well, especially on the top. And then we're gonna trim our seam allowances uh, to make sure that we have a nice uh, unified seam allowance inside of our pouch. Now that we have the sides sewn, we're gonna trim the seam allowance by about a half. Make sure not to cut your zipper tape. And now we're gonna box our corners. So you're gonna open the corners and you can fold the seam allowance on one side and clip. And now you're gonna take the project back to the machine and you're gonna sew along the box corners. You can choose your seam allowance. You can make the pouch a little uh, deeper or you can just use uh, one fourth of an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna make the seam allowance somewhere between uh, three eighths and one fourth to make sure I have a little space to give my seam allowance a nice trim. So now take it to the machine, sew both box corners, making sure you are back stitching on the beginning and on the end of your seam. Now that both corners are um, boxed, we're gonna trim the seam allowances. And turn the project right side out. And now we're gonna insert our zipper pull on. And now you can decide which one, uh, which way you want the zipper pull to go. I'm gonna insert it from the right to the left. Make sure that your side panels are aligned. Pull the zipper through all the way and then re-answer it. And now we're gonna trim our zipper tape to the desired length. I think I'm gonna leave about inch, inch and a quarter.
And now using our little scrap, we're going to create our tabs. I know that my zipper tape is one fourth of an inch in width. So I want to have a piece that it's one and a quarter by one and a quarter. I'm gonna cut two and a half by one and a quarter and then cut the top in half. Now using some double-sided tape, I'm gonna affix each piece on one end of the zipper. And now I'm going to use rivets to attach my zipper tabs. You can take it to the machine and top stitch it with the 1 8 of an inch uh, seam allowance on top uh, if you don't want to do rivets, um, but I'm going to use rivets. And now your little see-through vinyl and jelly vinyl pencil case is ready to use. It fits pens and pencils perfectly and it can it will fit in any backpack. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you're gonna give the project a go. Here you can purchase this pattern uh, from Etsy. The link is in the description box below. And if you want to join my Facebook group, the link is also posted. You can also follow me on Instagram for any updates and special uh, offers and sales. Till the next time.